Mikhail Vladimirovich Mishushti is a Russian politician and economist serving as Prime Minister of Russia since 16 January 2020. He previously served as Director of the Federal Taxation Service from 2010 to 2020. President Vladimir Putin nominated Mishushti to become Chairman of the Government of the Russian Federation on 15 January 2020. Following the resignation of Dmitry Medvedev, hearings on his appointment took place in the State Duma on 16 January. And he was confirmed in office that day. His deputy, Andrei Balasov, served as acting Prime Minister from April to May 2020 after Mishushti announced that he had tested positive for COVID-19. Mikhail Mishushti was born on 3 March 1966 in Lobnya, a town close to Moscow, or in Moscow itself, to the Mishushti family, Vladimir Moisevich and Luisa Mikhailovna. His mother was born in the city of Kotlas in the Arkhangelsk region. Mishustin's father, born in Polosk, Belarus who was reportedly of Belarusian Jewish origin, was a member of the Komsomol. In 1989, he graduated from the STANKIN, majoring in system engineering, and then in 1992, he completed postgraduate studies at the same institute. After finishing graduate school, he began working as a director of a test laboratory facility. In 1992, Mishushti began working at the International Computer Club, where he worked on facilitating the integration of Russian and Western information technologies. He ultimately headed the board of the International Computer Club. In 1998, he joined the state service as an assistant for information systems for accounting and control over the receipt of tax payments to the head of the state tax service of the Russian Federation. From 1998 to 2004, he worked as deputy tax minister. Being second in command at the state tax service, he worked as head of the Federal Agency for Real Estate Cadaster within the Russian Ministry of Economic Development, and head of the Federal Agency for Managing Special Economic Zones. In 2008, Mishushti left the civil service and returned to the private sector. He spent two years as the president of UFG Asset Management, an investment fund before resigning to become head of the Federal Tax Service. In February 2009, he joined the personnel reserve of the President of Russia. In 2010, Mishushti was appointed head of the Federal Tax Service by then Prime Minister Vladimir Putin. After his appointment to this post, entrepreneurs expressed the hope that Mishushti as coming from business, would be more friendly to Russian entrepreneurs. As head of the Federal Tax Service, Mishushti earned a reputation as a skilled technocrat and emphasized tax simplification and electronic tax services. During this period, however, the tax service was criticized for its overly strict approach to business. Mishushti rejected this criticism, pointing to a decrease in the number of on-site tax audits and tax inspections of large and medium-sized businesses. As head of the FTS, Mishushti declared war on dirty data and targeted problems with unjustified value-added tax refunds. Mishushti emphasized digitization and big data making extensive use of techno-authoritarian systems of government surveillance of economic activity, including the collection of data on almost every transaction in Russia. This data collection was facilitated by new legislation that required all business-to-business -business 
invoices to be submitted to the government and required all retailers to automatically transmit real-time transaction data to tax authorities through an online cash register process. The government used artificial intelligence to identify persons suspected of tax evasion. This system of surveillance resulted in a decrease in the share of VAT uncollected by Russian authorities during Mishustin's tenure. The VAT gap reportedly declined from 20% to less than 1%. Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev, along with his entire cabinet, resigned on 15 January 2020, after President Vladimir Putin delivered the presidential address to the Federal Assembly, in which he proposed several amendments to the Constitution. Medvedev stated that he was resigning to allow Putin to make the significant constitutional changes. Suggested by Putin regarding shifting power away from the presidency, Putin accepted the resignation. However, on Putin's instructions, the cabinet continued its work as a caretaker cabinet until the formation of a new government. On 15 January 2020, Putin nominated Mishushti for the post of prime minister. According to Putin, he was offered four candidates. But Mishushti was not among them. As a result, Putin independently decided to nominate Mishushti for the prime minister. The next day, he was confirmed by the State Duma to the post and appointed prime minister by Putin's decree. This was the first time ever that a PM was confirmed without any votes against on 21 January 2020. Mishushti presented to President Vladimir Putin a draft structure of his cabinet. On the same day, the